Are these jabs by Rogers fair or foul? Not only are they fair, they're apt. It's a really good analogy. It's a, it's a good comparison, rather. I mean, look, first of all, let us it doesn't escape my attention. I know it didn't escape yours, Molly. Yeah. Stephen A., he's calling himself Michael Jordan in this situation, right? He's, if, if, if his GM is Jerry Krause, then Aaron Rodgers is Michael Jordan. And he's right. He is an irreplaceable superstar who is more responsible for the team's success than anyone. He's unbelievable. Until Patrick Mahomes came along, there's never been anyone like Aaron Rodgers. But we know why he's saying it. He means it. He's dissing him. He's saying, like, you have alienated Michael Jordan. Congratulations. You're now Jerry Krause. What he may or may not realize he's also saying, I mean, Jerry Krause built the dynasty. Jerry Krause surrounded Michael Jordan with the right pieces and won six championships. He was the architect of it. Does it happen without Michael Jordan? Of course not. Michael Jordan's more responsible than anyone. But Jerry Krause was also partly responsible for that dynasty. He built it. He even hired the coach, Phil Jackson. Let's look at what Guttenkunst has done, right? They were stagnating. They were even regressing because Mike McCarthy, the league, seemed to have passed him by. Rodgers clearly didn't want him there anymore. What did he do? He went out and got Matt LaFleur. Like a Phil Jackson hires an assistant originally, that's like Matt LaFleur. Stephen A., you were gigging on his name for how long, right? Like, where did he come from? Boy, he skipped some levels here. Matt, actually, Matt LaFleur, under him, they won 13 games consecutive years. NFC Championship consecutive years. If you look at the roster construction, the Packers are one of the best teams in football, just like the Bulls. Is that mainly because of Michael Jordan, Aaron Rodgers? Yes. But the rest of the roster is excellent. He's done a very good job as the architect of the team. So that's part of being Jerry Krause. And the other part is, don't alienate Michael Jordan, dummy. Don't alienate Aaron Rodgers. I think it's totally fair. I don't necessarily disagree with you, but I, I, I just felt differently about what I heard. First of all, when you're going to bring up Jerry Krause and Gutekunst, I mean, that you know, Gutekunst wish he could be Jerry Krause. Jerry Krause is a six-time champion. God rest his soul. He passed away in 2017. He's a six-time champion. Uh, he's a two-time executive of the year. Uh, and let's analyze the things that happened that he did. First of all, he did not draft Michael Jordan. That would be Rod Thorne, right. the former Z senior VP, used to run the Nets, used to run Philly. Uh, obviously, he was in the league office. My buddy loved Rod Thorne, okay? Uh, he, he's the one that drafted Michael Jordan. Let's, let's make sure we, we point that out. That's number one. But number two, where you think about Jerry Krause, he drafted Scotty Prippett, obviously had Horace Grant there. Um, obviously brought in, got rid of Doug Collins, brought in Phil Jackson. Okay, all of those things are true. Okay, he got, went out and got Dennis Rodman when you needed him after Jordan came out of retirement. The Steve Kerr's, the John Paxson's, the PJ, the BJ Armstrong's of the world. Missing a big the list one. Goes on a, Coo Bill, coach. That's Coo coach. Mm -hmm. Bill Wennington, Stacey K. All of these guys, you know, did a Bill Cartwright. You remember, he traded Bill Cartwright, traded Charles Oakley, Oakley for Bill Cartwright. Cartwright. All of that stuff. This is what Jerry Krause did. Where... When I hear the name Jerry Krause and you're talking about Gutekinds, here's what you have to take into consideration. It wasn't just about alienating Jordan. He alienated Jordan because of the decisions he was making surrounding Jordan. See, Krause offended Jordan because Jordan was a guy that wanted to come back from injury, wanted to play, and Krause tried to tell him, you know, you're going to do what we tell you to do, and you don't roll at, you don't roll at my man MJ like that. That's our problem, okay? So that's one point where there's some similarities there. Here's the other one. This is not a similarity, actually. When you look at the fact that this is where Jerry Krause gets excoriated because you had a team that could win, and as we learned during the last dance, even though we already knew, they, they thought they could go for a seventh. But you had announced before they captured the sixth, they were gone. You didn't care whether they were winning. Yeah. You didn't care how successful they were. In this particular instance, you haven't enjoyed that success. So Aaron Rodgers is trying to get to a level MJ and the Bulls were already at when Krause ruined everything because he wanted to start anew even though they were still winning. Go to Kent's and Matt LaFleur and those boys, they ain't won no championship. Don't try, listen, if you, and if that's you what, take an analogy but, too literally, of but course that's what, you're right. I, no, I'm taking it literally but, because of Rod. No, excuse me. I need to get in here and something based on what you said, Max, because you agree that he alienated the star, Aaron Rodgers, Michael Jordan, but you said Gutekunst was part of building this team. But you always rave about guys like Bakhtiari and yeah. Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams, Aaron Jones. He didn't bring any but of them But he did bring in. in the coach in. He did bring the coach in. He did address some things on the defense. He's had a couple of good drafts. 
Like, they're strong. Since he got there, like, he got there, hired a new coach, 13 wins NFC Championship game. Let me stop. But, but asking he didn't a question. create the hold core on, of hold, the hold team on, is my on, point. Hold on real quick you, because I want, I, want to get, I want to get to this point. You're making it literal. Like, it's not exactly perfect, but I'll say in the big picture it is, Stephen A., because basically Kraus was moving on. Kraus looked at the team. They were aging. He was moving on. And what really precipitated this? What was the breaking point? Guttenkunst was moving on. He drafted Aaron Rodgers' replacement. Mm -hmm. That's where it was like, okay. oh, wait a minute. Okay. I'm not done. Okay, okay, that's fine. I really don't care about that point. Here's the point that I care about, and it's in a question to you. And I'm going to ask this question because they won 13 and 3. They went 13 and 3 the last two years. I'm going to ask you a legitimate question. What has Matt LaFleur done? Went to two NFC No, no. Guttenkunst did in terms of when you're talking about the last two years. What yeah. I'm saying to you is this. Matt LaFleur yeah. was the offensive coordinator of the 27th-ranked Tennessee Titans. Somehow got the job. Somehow got the job. Okay? And you inherited Aaron Rodgers. People keep forgetting in 2017 and 2018, when they won 7-9 and 6-9-1, and one, Aaron Rodgers was hurt both years. One year he was out, another year he played hurt. He wasn't healthy. And so when he comes back healthy, I'm making the proclamation. I'm making the proclamation that Aaron Rodgers is that offense. Aaron Rodgers is the reason. Oh, I, so, so I'm looking at, uh, again, when we talk about he hired a new Before, coach. Yeah. He hired a new coach. I'm saying with a guy like Mike McCarthy and what have you, and we know even we've decried his, 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 his archaic tendencies with Dallas last year. But what was that offense like before Dak Prescott went down? The offense was elite. So what I'm saying to you is that, you can make a legitimate argument based on what you saw Aaron Rodgers do years before LaFleur ever arrived, okay, that Aaron Rodgers is going to be Aaron Rodgers, and that's the reason that offense is what it is. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.